What you guys just saw was a video of statistics on human trafficking over the past 10 years. And human trafficking is a huge problem. For those of you who don't know who it is, it's any, like, it's any, like, distribution of selling, like, it, it can be the three types are prostitution, drug trade, and organ trafficking. Those are the main brain three points I'm going to discuss today. And living around a city like Los Angeles, um, you will see one of these three probably even daily. So it's just important to know what you're looking at. Um, this, this was a YouTube video made by a previous um, performance speech. So and, and, uh, like I said, the first one is prostitution, um, mostly 99% women, and women all over the world are greatly affected physically and emotionally by this, leaving them scarred for life, and although it is worldwide, it's still like an underground process, and it's still legal. Um, they're forced into it, tricked into it, and there's a portion that do it uh, voluntarily for, of course, money, which makes which makes it worse as what people look at it because they're just condoning it. Um, there is a previous, um, it's called the Health Rx. It was an article about this guy, Francisco Cortez Meza. He, he took this girl from Mexico and promised her a better life in America. And so he brought her here where he took her to Atlanta, Georgia, and basically forced her to prostitute and uh, bring him back the cash she earned for years and years. So that's just basically you're not always doing what you were promised. So um, my next point, now that I've mentioned the women that are affected by this, I will tell you about the men. Um, narcotics are, are always the highest wage source for a, any criminal. Um, so by trafficking drugs through butch soldiers, big drug cartels can make lots of money off them while at the same time making them a lot of cash, So, which makes them stuck in this place because they're so addicted to making so much money that they have nowhere else to go. Um, most of these men are also promise a better life, they get here and they just, they're just forced to do all, all this drug trafficking work and it's not their fault, but that's why um, cartels these days are growing bigger and bigger every year. Um, so yeah, um, um, and I've talked about the men that get affected by this, I will talk more about the stomach training site to organ trafficking, I mean human trafficking, which is organ trade. We all need our organs so that what matters is become desperate, become desperate when people all over the world, from prisoners to tourists, are being cut open willingly and unwillingly for their kidneys or other organs. Um, members of this organ trade become accustomed to a lifestyle theft, robbery, um, assault, cutting people open, and it's just really 
really uh, ugly and they have no real concerns. Um, in Serbia, there was a case from um, New York Times letter. It was a case on one of the leaders of Serbia was getting his pri prisoners, um, killing them, and selling their organs for money. And this was going on for about 10 years, and this was actually found out in 2010. So this has been going on probably since the 90s. So that's a serious problem that's going on almost today. So, um, this is just a photo of these men just being cut open at any part of their stomach and just forcefully in their organs taken out of them for either by force or some of them actually do it voluntarily because they get a lot of money for it. But then again, it's not always sanitary and why would you want to sell your organs? Um, yeah, it just shows that like numerous prisoners get cut open daily for their organs just for this leader to have. Um, in conclusion, I went over with you the three main parts of human trafficking, which was prostitution, organ trade, and drug trafficking. Um, it's just important in your future, you will inevitably, inevitably see these three forms daily, whether it's up close or from far away. It's just really important to know what's going on. Uh, understanding what is happening when you see it is critical in taking any further steps to doing something about it. Um, education is key to resolving any issue, especially one that's this huge worldwide.